Andy from Grey Matter Gaming here. Let's talk movement trays. Hopefully you've seen my other videos about my movement trays. If not, you can check them out in my link below or check them out on my YouTube channel. But I want to talk a little bit more instead of their features. I want to talk a little bit more about them from a practical sense and show you some of the advantages of them. Most movement trays you're familiar with are probably like this, right? They're MDF, they might be 3D printed, but they're all basically the same, right? There's a lip on the edge, they might have rings that they go into, but something holds the model into place so you can slide large groups of troops across the table. They do the job, they're fine, I've used them for years. But I think there's a better way. Because the problem with these kind of movement trays is when they get into combat, usually you have to then take time to remove them off and it takes a lot of time. It can be annoying. Your measurements aren't necessarily precise with as far as how far away the truce because the lip takes up a little bit of space, right? And so mine are better. Let's say you're wanting to fight these two guys, all right? So you move your unit up and you go to charge in. And it's like that, let's say, just as an example, right? Now would be the time when you'd normally, if you're using these, you'd have to take them individually out, right? And with normal attacks, you have to move them around anyways, right? But let me show you something a little different about mine. With mine, they still are able to move around. And you'll notice I'm using one finger to kind of hold them in place. But they slide, right? They easily pop off. Um, and they're great at being able to reposition them and move them to where you need the guys to be. The actual movement trays themselves are only a millimeter wide, or thick, I should say. So they don't actually get in the way of anything. You can slide guys around. You can move them where they want to be. There's no lip that's getting in the way. There's no un nothing unbalanced. And everything works in perfect. And with our movement trays, you get an engineered magnetic force that's not too strong and not too weak. It's not too weak because you can take your movement trays, you can have your models on it, you can hold it upside down, you can give it a shake, they're gonna stay, right? They're not gonna randomly fall off. The movement tray does the job, it holds the models where they're supposed to be held, right? But it's not too strong because if you have a sheet metal movement tray and you put magnets on it, you can't just slide it off, right? You can, can't just take it and pop it off. You gotta sit there and go, pop, right? And then you can put it down where you want it to go. It takes a lot more effort. With ours, it's much more fluid. Right? It makes the game go smoother. It's not an interruption in the game. And the other advantage that ours has is that ours are affordable. They're all between 2 to $3. It's a good price for a good product. Check it out on our website, graymattergaming.org. I'll leave a note in the comments below for what other sizes and dimensions and shapes that you'd like us to be making. We're, ma we're planning to be making a lot more. So let us know what you want to see next, and we'll make sure we add that onto the list. Thanks.